It's Ramsey Dewey and Jordan Chow, and we're here today to show you a drill I'd like to do to help improve the offense of your leg lock game. We're going to start with what I call a straight ankle lock race. So we're going to move into a 50-50 position. Legs overlap like this, and we're going to set a timer for 10 seconds. I got it for 11 seconds, but yeah. Anyway, short time interval. I press start. As soon as we touch hands, we attempt to get the other person in a straight ankle lock. We will work any variation of a straight ankle lock until the time expires. And then we're gonna switch sides. And we're gonna start over. Ready, Ready. go. go. Okay, and switch sides. Let's do this a couple more times. And ready, go. There we go, nice. So we can use this same position to drill, drill and rep out other submissions like a heel hook, for example. Again, use caution with the heel hook. Tap to the pressure, don't wait for the pain. That's a tip I like to follow. Let's try that same thing with heel hooks now. So again, from the 50-50 position, 10 seconds on the clock, and go. Oh. And switch. And go. And switch. One more time. Hide your feet, Jordan. Oh, no. Okay. So, in a very short amount of time, you're going to get a ton of reps for these submissions, learning your offense. Well, generally, when you take a jiu-jitsu class, what do most people do? They spend... 15, 30 minutes, an hour, working on a technique, the technique of the day. They'll, they'll rep it out a bunch of times, and then they roll. And you might end up in that position how many times when you roll? Maybe zero, maybe one, maybe two if you're really good, but you don't get a lot of reps. So it's very important to rep out the submissions that you want to excel at in those positions. So the 50-50 position, that's just one. And you can really pick whatever leg entanglement that you want to work from the most. Maybe, maybe it's like a, a cross body position like this. And we can do the same thing from here. Here, let's go. Now, let's do either straight ankle lock or heel hook okay. or toe hold. Pretty much any foot lock. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Okay. And switch. And yeah, you can go for a, a neutral one, one where somebody has an advantage. Like Jordan is kind of at a specific advantage in this position. So now I can work my defense a little more. He can work his offense a little bit more. Ready? So, got a friend, Dennis, he came, visited Shanghai, did a, did a little seminar about the omoplata, and I asked him, what's a good way to drill the omoplata? And he showed me this, We're changing course a little bit. So start from the guard. If you don't know what the omoplata is, it's a basic shoulder lock where you use your legs to come up over the shoulder. Okay, and now turn around this way and put pressure on the shoulder, the rotator cuff, tear that thing up, all right? What's a good way to drill that? Well, in stages. So if you've never done this before, if you never tapped anybody out with it and you start from this position, you probably will never tap anyone out with it. But let's start from a position where we've cleared the shoulder. We've sat up here. We've got, we're almost finished. Maybe I've got my legs straightened out. I'm like one or two steps away from finishing. Now let's go live, go. Now Jordan fights back, and now I've got to figure out a way to 
stabilize and, and troubleshoot. And it's like, oh no, ah, he's counterattacking, right? And so I know, oh, I made a few mistakes there. So let's start over, right? We'll get in that position. I'll straighten the legs out, posture is broken. Again, I'm one or two steps away. And so now he's got an excellent opportunity to work his defense and me my offense and go. And now I know I need to keep his posture broken. And okay, now I can fix the mistakes I made before, right? And that might take one or two times, it might take a hundred times. But when you rep it out from specific positions like that, you're going to get specific experience. Again, I, I kind of hate the format. It's not the worst format for a jiu-jitsu class of just rep out the technique for an hour and then roll afterward, because it's much better than not rolling and not sparring. But give yourself very specific positional drills and that can go a very long way. All right, footlock races or breakdown, omoplatas or whatever submission you're working on. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.